what we call in the military making our presence felt. I don't know if you've heard this phrase before. What does it mean? Military logic, military way of thinking says this. If Palestinians will get the feeling that the army is all the time everywhere, they'll be afraid to attack. So what do you do to make them feel this way? You make your presence felt. How does it manifest itself? In different places, different ways. So if I'll just give you an example from Hebron, which is a city that I served in for almost 14 months. So Hebron is the largest Palestinian city in the West Bank, in the south of the West Bank. Around 180,000 Palestinians live in Hebron. It's a unique city by that, that it's the only Palestinian city as a whole, if you put aside East Jerusalem, that has an Israeli settlement in the heart of the city. So you have 850 settlers living in a city center of 180,000 Palestinians. Guarding them, you have 650 combat soldiers on a day-to-day -day basis, and I was one of these 650 soldiers for a while. So what do you do? You make your presence felt. How does it look like? You have two military patrols. One is in charge of the old city of Hebron. The other one is in charge of Palestinian neighborhoods around the old city. And that's their job to make their presence felt. You start your night shift patrol at 10 o'clock till 6 o'clock in the morning, eight hour shift. Walk in the streets of the old city. Break into a house. It's not a house we have intelligence about. A random house. I'm the sergeant, I lead the patrol. Choose a random house, break into the house, wake up the family. Men one side, women the other side, search the place. You can yourself imagine the dynamics. What happens when you break into a Family, two o'clock at night, wake everyone up. Search the place, finish, go out to the street, knock on some doors, make some noise, run to the other corner of the street, invade another house, wake up the family, search, go out, run to the other corner of the old city, another random house. And that's basically how you pass your eight hour shift. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, from September 2000, when the second intifada started, till today it didn't stop for one second. Yeah, the idea is very simple. Every Palestinian needs to feel the military is right here. Yeah, you never know when we're going to show up, when we're going to start, when we're going to end, how many we're going to be, what we're going to do. It's to do what we call in the military, to create the feeling of being chased.